Okay, so let's talk threading. It's one of those buzzwords that gets a lot of people excited. It's actually pretty straightforward. If you've done any programming at all, you've done some threaded programming. I say that a little bit facetiously because uh, whenever you start a program, it starts a single thread of execution. So if I hit F10 here in Visual Studio, we see the program counter here, this yellow marker that the debugger is displaying. It shows the next statement, which is set up to execute. And really, a curly brace is not a statement, but that's just a placeholder for the debugger. Right now, there's the thread we call the main thread, and it uh, starts here in main, and will travel all the way until it hits this closing curly right here. So not very exciting, but yes, it is threaded programming. It's a single thread, and if you're a single child and a single child household, you'll know that uh, <coughs> you don't have to share anything with your siblings. It's quite nice. But the problem with threading arises when there's several threads and then there's toys that they want to share, or data exactly that they need to share. Anyway, uh, this example is not very exciting. Let's do something a little more more interesting. I'm going to make a second thread. First of all, let's at least get something printing on the console. I'm going to console write line my name. My name. <laughs> yeah, I bet you thought I was going to write Jamie. Uh, control F5, run this. You see nothing really exciting happening there. Um, let's put it in a different function. Static, void, different. Did I say function? Uh, I'm going to say method. Method, function method. It's all the same. Uh, I'm going to take this print statement, put it down here. Um, and now, uh, if I run it, you know the main thread will start here in main. The designers of the C-sharp language could have called this method anything. They decided to call it main, probably based off C, and whoever decided that main was a great name. Um, but it could be named anything. In fact, on the CLR level, you can name your entry points, whatever you want. But we won't get into that. Um, let's make a new thread. var thread gets new thread. Um, this is in the system.threading namespace. And it takes uh, a delegate, essentially. Uh, the delegate type is parameterized thread start, or I can do thread start. Uh, I'll get to parameterized thread start a little bit later, but if I type thread start here, and then F12 with the cursor on thread start, we see it's a delegate, returns void, takes no arguments. I hope you're familiar and comfortable with delegates. If not, please go see the delegate videos. Okay, so since it takes a delegate, that returns void, takes no arguments, well, that matches the signature right here, so I can uh, let me just copy this. I can paste that method right there, uh, and then if I run it, notice no output. Okay, we instantiated a thread object, but we did not actually create the thread. To create the thread, I have to say start. All right, so now it's almost like we have two entry points of execution. We have the one that we're familiar with, the main one here. That looks a little bit like a piece of thread, doesn't it? And then when I make a thread on different method, that will actually create another thread that will begin its execution right here uh, and then go through a different method. Now, this is not a very complicated method, obviously, but uh, hopefully you see the point that that main thread, it starts on this curly, this other thread starts here. There's really no difference other, other than that between the two threads we have going on. So I'm going to hit F10. We'll create the thread. We'll start the thread. Notice our program counters here. If we look at the output, there's no output quite yet. Uh, if I hit F10, the debugger will uh, stop because execution completed and my console window left. I'm actually going to hit Control F5 to uh, pull the debugger away. You see now my name prints because we allowed this thread to execute now and the uh, console window just didn't disappear. Okay, now in later videos, I'll show you how to debug these threads and things. But I can, let me do F9. Uh, maybe if I get my lock turned on. Let's try that again. F9. Why am I not getting a breakpoint? I'll just click out here and get a breakpoint. I hit F5. Uh, come on, F5. Uh, now you see that we're in the second thread. We actually broke on this line here. All right, so... Don't make it more complicated than it needs to be. There's one thread up here, started this second thread, and the second thread went down through here. So that's a basic hello world of threads. Uh, in future videos, we're going to get into a lot more sexier stuff.